Oh. <laughs> Aww. What a cute kitten, Rye. Who is that? And why are they here? This is my cat, Tuesday. It's National Pet Month, so I brought her to work. That's okay, right? Um, I don't know if Cap will be okay with this. I think she's still a little on edge from the time you brought a gremlin in the studio. Uh, that was a mogwai, and Pete turned it into a gremlin. Wait, so are you saying it wasn't a good idea that I did a photo shoot with Tuesday in Cap's office, and I put it on my social media? I think we should just start the show. I'm Pamela Kirkland. And I'm Ryan Willard. It's Wednesday, May 24th. This is the 10 News. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I do love May, so let's appreciate the wonder and joy of National Pet Month. Since 1981, people in the U.S. have been celebrating their furry friends in May. Around 80 million American homes have at least one pet, from cats and dogs to tarantulas and sugar gliders. Pets have been proven to decrease stress, keep your heart healthy, and help with emotional and social skills. I always thought of myself as a dog person, but having Tuesday around made me love cats. Did you know that June 4th is National Hug Your Cat Day? Good gravy! I did not! Yeah! To celebrate it, our cat correspondent tenor, Jack, is here to share 10 things you didn't know about cats. Hi, I'm Jack, the official cat correspondent, and I'm here to share 10 facts you probably don't know about cats. Number one. Cats have nearly twice the amount of neurons in their cerebral cortex as dogs. This means that they are more intelligent than dogs and can learn complex tasks. <laughs> Number two. Cats can see in the dark. They have a special membrane in their eyes that allows them to see in low light conditions. They use this to hunt prey at night. <laughs> Number three. Cats can jump six times their own height. This is because they have a special muscle in their back that allows them to jump high into the air. This helps them hunt prey like birds and mice. This also plays a factor in their speed and length that they can jump. Number four. Cats can purr at a frequency of 25 to 150 hertz. This frequency is thought to have healing properties and can be used to treat pain and inflammation. Oh. Number five, cats are the only mammals that can't taste sweetness. This is because they don't have taste buds for it. Number six, cats don't actually hate water and there are breeds who love it. This includes Burmese cats, Maine Coons, Turkish Angoras, Savannah cats, American and Japanese bobtails, and Norwegian forest cats. The one who likes it the most are Turkish fans. They're nicknamed the Swimmer Cat, and they love pools and water. Number seven. Cats only make vocals because they heard you talk first, unless they hear it from other cats or creatures. Number eight. Cats can drink seawater. Their kidneys can filter out the salt, which is something humans can't do. Number nine, it is very important to keep your cat away from most plants because some are poisonous to your little kitty. (laughs) Number 10, a house cat can run to the speed of about 30 miles per hour over short distances. These are 10 facts about cats. I hope you like them. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Thanks, Jack. Hey, Tuesday. You've got a big hug waiting for you on June 4th. Okay, we can practice now. Let me get a picture of you for socials. Oh, hey, Cap. Tracy, Cap is coming! Run, Tuesday, run! Hey, Pam. What is Ryan doing? Ryan's being Ryan. I saw his social media before I left the house today. Let him know I'm looking for him. Will do, Cap. Now, we love to see our pets on social media, but some kids could be about to lose their access to some social apps and sites. 
Let's talk about the Protecting Kids on Social Media Act that Congress is debating. Um, Pete, don't you think that's a little dramatic? Uh, it was a dramatic moment, Pamela. Pete is right. If one of these new bills passes, kids under 13 would be prevented from signing up for social media accounts. It does seem to be the one thing Democrats and Republicans can agree on right now. You know how sometimes you ask for your parents' permission before going online, especially on social media? Well, the government is thinking about that, too. In fact, they're discussing how they might better regulate big tech companies like TikTok and Facebook. Should TikTok be banned, or should we keep younger kids off social media? And how can we make sure that our private information stays private? Those are big questions politicians in Washington, D.C. are trying to answer right now. One reason for this is the concern about who owns TikTok. Turns out, it's a company from China. Another reason is that many parents are worried about what their kids are seeing online, especially after the tough times we've all been through with the pandemic. Different groups of lawmakers have introduced a bunch of bills or proposed laws, and they hope to find some middle ground. But guess what? Tech companies are not too excited about these changes. They've been used to doing their own thing without too much interference from the government. So new rules could really complicate things for them. What does that mean? Let's break down the new bills that are being discussed in Congress. First up, the Protecting Kids on Social Media Act. It has bipartisan support, meaning both Republicans and Democrats are supporting it. It would create a rule book for social media apps like Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. In addition to being at least 13 years old to use these apps, if you're between 13 and 17, your parents will have to say it's okay first. The apps can't use special computer programs called algorithms to suggest videos or posts for anyone under 18. This is to make sure that only good and safe stuff is shown. The apps will need to check how old users are to make sure everyone is telling the truth about their age, And the people who make sure rules are followed, like the Federal Trade Commission and state attorneys, would monitor to make sure the apps are sticking to these new rules. Another bill called the Social Media Child Protection Act would make it illegal for social media platforms to provide access to children under the age of 16. Wow. It would also require the social media companies verify the age of kids who are using it. President Joe Biden recently said it's time to pass laws and limit how much personal information can be collected and to stop targeted advertising to kids. He believes that social media companies should be held accountable for their effects on children. But what do these potential new rules look like? There are several ideas on the table. One proposal says that social media platforms should be, quote, safe by design and have child safety settings enabled by default. Another idea is to ban kids under the age of 13 from using social media without parental consent. There's also talk about creating a national privacy standard, which could give us more control over our data and make it illegal to target ads to children. That's great. And let's not forget about TikTok. Some lawmakers want to ban it altogether because of its links to China, but not everyone agrees. One senator even said that banning TikTok could anger a lot of voters who use the app. So what's going to happen? Well, we're not sure yet, (sighs) but we'll keep you posted. Remember, being safe online is important, so always talk to your caregivers about what you're doing on the internet. Thank you, Pamela, for explaining all the bills being talked about in Congress. And even if these bills don't pass, who knows what will happen with other social media apps? Montana just banned TikTok. It's the first state to do so, but many more states could follow. We'll keep you updated on developments. Welcome to the Trivia Room. Hi, Tessa. Hi, Jack. Great reporting earlier. Want to do some pet trivia? Yeah, I love pet trivia. Awesome. 
Hop on up on the trivia throne for today's trivia question. You ready? Let's do it. What is going on here? Trivia on the ten. There are so many cute pets to choose from. When I was a kid, we had a dog, two cats, and three hamsters. But there's one state where it is illegal to own a hamster. Do you know which state? Is it A. California, B. Alaska, or C. Hawaii? Tenors, did you guess it? Jack, what's your answer? Hmm. I think it might be Hawaii because it's so hot there that all their fur could make them have like heat stroke. That wouldn't be good. The answer is C. Hawaii. It's illegal to own hamsters in Hawaii because the climate is similar to hamsters' natural habitat. If a pet hamster escaped, they might be able to start a colony, which would be very bad news for Hawaii's delicate and important ecosystem. Wow, that's cool to know. But I think I'm going to stick with having a cat as a pet. Tenors, do you want to sit on the trivia throne and share your trivia knowledge? Visit the 10 newscom slash contact to get in touch, and we might have you on the show. There you are, Ryan. Ah! Oh, hello, Tracy. I wasn't doing anything. Why do you ask? And why do you ask me so many questions that I don't want to answer? I didn't ask anything. But I did see that you brought your cat Tuesday in for National Pet Month and took pictures in my office. That was Tuesday's idea? She loves the gram. Well, I thought it was adorable and brought my cat Midnight in too. Oh, they're going to be buddies. Let's take some pictures. After we give some 10 new snaps to one of our listeners. But before we do, here's a quick note for the grown-ups. Hey listeners, Tracy Leeds Kaplan here, and today I want to tell you about KiwiCo, a fantastic screen-free way to keep your kids engaged and learning. Just last week, one of their monthly crates arrived, and Owen, who you know is an original tenor, and of course my son, wanted to immediately put it together. I have to say, we had an absolute blast. It was our first crate, and from their tinker set, we put together a domino machine that runs across the floor positioning up dominoes for the perfect run. You get to put all the parts together, from lining up gears to wiring up the battery. These are real engineering, science, and art projects with high-quality materials. KiwiCo is perfect for kids who love to build, create, and explore. Each crate includes all the materials and instructions needed for a hands-on project, and with options for different age groups, there's something for everyone. And there's no commitment. You can pause your subscription or cancel anytime. I really love working on the crate with Owen. So get yours today. Redefine learning with play. Explore hands-on projects that build creative confidence and problem-solving skills with KiwiCo. Get 50% off your first month, plus free shipping on any crate line at kiwico.com slash 10 news. That's 50% off your first month at kiwico.com slash T-N-N-E-W-S. Happy building. Time for 10 new snaps. Tenor KitKat036 wrote this review of the 10 news. Hi, I listen to this podcast every Tuesday and Wednesday. I normally don't really like podcasts, but this one was a game changer. Keep up the good work. Just wanted to add on that this podcast is good for kids and adults. I also wanted to add these emojis. Thumbs up, fire, five star bursts. Thanks, KitKat36. Wait a second. KitKat? This is perfect for National Hug Your Cat Day. Also, I love your chocolate bar. Thanks for listening to the 10 News. 10 Things You Need to Know drops every Tuesday and our in-depth reports drop every Wednesday. But if you want some bonus content, you can join the Tenors Club on our website or on Apple Podcasts. The 10 News is a co-production of Small But Mighty Media and Next Chapter Podcast. The 10 News creative team is playing with their favorite pet friends and includes Tracy Crooks, Pete Musto, Logan DeYoung, and Tessa Flannery. Special thanks to our cat correspondent, Jack. Our production director is Jeremiah Tittle, and our executive producers are Donald Albright and show creator Tracy Leeds Kaplan. I'm Ryan Willard. And I'm Pamela Kirkland. Thanks for listening to the 10 News. <laughs>